Hey everybody, um, Josh again. Um, first off, what can I say that's somewhat positive about this movie? Um, it's cinematically amazing, like the, the backgrounds and it appeals to the eyes, but like story-wise, mm, it's nicely written, but The music is weird because it goes from, it starts off with uh, Sweet Dreams uh, by The Arithmetics, covered by um, Emily, Emily Brown, Brownington, Browning, whatever her name is, whatever. <laughs> um, and then it goes to uh, Asleep, another cover song, so. But it's, it's supposed to be set in like the 1930s, 40s, something like that. This is Zack Snyder's, Snyder, well I believe to be his first uh, PG-13 movie. He, he left his safety zone of um, rated R movies because 300 was rated R, Dawn of the Dead was rated R. Um, Watchmen was obviously rated R. All his movies, he's been working as, with his wife, so she's been, she's been a, the producer. So I'm not so surprised that uh, that he's still working. I mean, I I, I like him, but not really. Um, the acting is good per se, but um. I wouldn't be seeing this as an Oscar or an, an award-winning movie unless you count Teen Choice or MTV. No offense, but it's not the the type of movie for that. It's too abstract. I mean, there's here's the story. Here's. The fantasy story, and then there's a whole another level of story up here on the like the stratosphere, way up here where hardly anyone actually pays attention to that because they're or this one the main story because they're all worried about this one, and then there's this one. It's like a bad inception. Um. I would give this two and a half, two and a half star <laughs> because it's a, it's, a, it's a good movie to watch, but nah, I mean, you can watch it once, but personal opinion, I, I wouldn't watch it more than twice. I would watch it once for myself and then another time with friends or family. Mention that if you noticed in Sucker Punch, if you if you actually went and saw it, there's every time that she dances or whatever, they never show her dancing. Cause you know why? Cause she's white. She's Australian, so <laughs> she can't dance. That's why they're like, oh, well, we have to put this fantasy sequence in for the whole dance sequence, and then you come back and she's like, what are you done? I want to see her dancing. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything.